A very warm welcome to each one of you present here. I would now like to request our beloved principal, Dr. Jerry George Matthew, to lead us and guide us with an opening prayer. Our gracious God and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us together this evening to watch this musical that our children have put together. We thank you for the months of hard work and perseverance that our children have exhibited. Thank you for the creative talent that you have put in them. And we thank you for all those who worked to bring it out and for them to be able to express it today. We pray that you would bless this occasion and this evening. We thank you for the encouragement and support of our parents and the management of Clarence High School. This evening we thank you for the message of deliverance from sin and slavery that you have recorded in the book of Exodus. And we do pray that everyone here would experience that same message in our own lives at some point. For this we pray and ask in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me and put your hands together as the students of Clarence High School proudly present the chosen one adapted from the book of Exodus and in aid of the Clarence Special School. Let there be light. And there was light. And God created life upon earth. And man was given dominion over all things upon this earth. And the power to choose between good and evil. But each sought to do his own will because he knew not the light of God's law. Man took dominion over man. The conquered were made to serve the conqueror. The weak were made to serve the strong. And freedom was gone from this world. One such story, however, gives hope even today. The story of hard-hearted to compassion, fear to belief, and disbelief to freedom. The story of Moses. Pharaoh, the Israelites have become far too numerous for us. We must deal shrewdly with them or they will become even more numerous. And if war breaks out, they will join our enemies, fight against us and leave the country. Yes, let us with slave masters over them, with forced labor, they can build Pithom and Ramses as store cities for the Pharaoh. The more the Israelites were oppressed, the more they multiplied and spread. So. The Egyptians came to dread the Israelites and worked them ruthlessly. They made their lives bitter with harsh labor and with all kinds of work in the fields. Then Pharaoh gave this order to all his people. Every Hebrew boy born must be thrown into the river Nile. Any Hebrew boy found alive 
my counselors will kill with their own hands. The cry of the people came up unto God. God heard them and cast into Egypt the seed of a man upon whose mind and heart would be written God's commandments. One man to stand alone against an entire empire.
the glory of Egypt. My son, mighty in words and deeds, king shall bow before you. Your name will live. And because I drew you from water, you shall be called Moses. Moses, Moses. Your lady, do you know the pattern of this cloth? If my son is covered in it, it is royal cloth. Royal? It is that of a Hebrew slave. Be quiet! Come, Ramses. Meet your little brother. My brother? My little brother! What did you name him? One more, and I beat you. <laughs> ha! And I beat you again. Ramesses, are you actually keeping score? Because I'm not. Win or lose, how does it matter anyway? Scores never matter to the one losing. Do they now, dear brother? <laughs> Maybe if I put that ring on bait, You'd play even more seriously. This ring. This ring. <laughs> oh dear brother, I shall never part with you. Not until death. This ring is a symbol of our brotherhood. And besides, I'm in the game only for the pleasure. See, that's where you lose out. Fun is great. But even better when you win. Ask father, won't you? He sure knows the smell of victory. Did I just hear my name? Come with me. I have an important task for you. would be so happy. Last night, the gods granted me a vision. I am not going to merely restore this temple. I will make it grander, more splendid than anything else in Upper and Lower Egypt. Here, Ramesses, I assign this work of great honor to you. Moses, <laughs> look! Fate has given us such a great opportunity. Please! Stop, please! Someone's got to stop this! 
there's nothing we can do. Hey, stop it. Leave that man alone. Hey, that's in order. Leave that man alone. Hey, stop it. I said, leave that man alone. Moses? Get out of my way. Did you see that? Did you see what he did? He saved one of us. Yet he doesn't even know. Will he ever know that he is our brother? One of us, a Hebrew. Yes, he will. Have faith, Miriam. God will reveal this to him in his time. The next day, Moses went out to his brethren and looked at their burdens. He saw how the Israelites suffered under the hands of the Egyptians. As he was watching, he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew. So he struck the Egyptian and killed him. Out of my way! I said out of my way! Who did this? I asked who did this? It was Moses! Moses? Stop looking and get back to work! Are you certain? Yes, Pharaoh. Did you see him do it? No, Master. Then but how are you so certain? Pharaoh, everyone present testifies against him. Who else would have the courage to kill? One of us. The slaves are too scared to even look us in the eye. It cannot be anyone else but him. Anyone who betrays his own kind is not worthy to live. Banish him from our lands! Kill him if he tries to run. Yes, Pharaoh. Moses heard of what had happened from one of his servants in the darkness of the night and without a word to Ramses or anyone else he escaped from the face of Pharaoh and wandered into the desert but little did he know that an encounter with a certain woman would change his life forever Miriam. Miriam. 
I, I just met a woman who told me her name's Miriam. Miriam, she said that she was my sister. And she, and she also said that that I am a Hebrew. But, but how can I be a Hebrew? I'm the prince of Egypt. Oh, there must be some mistake. You, did you know? Did you know that I was a Hebrew? And you, did you know? Oh my God. No. Oh. <laughs> the money. The power. These clothes, all this gold, they wouldn't stop flowing into the kingdom. All these years, I was surrounded by everyone and everything who walked and suppressed my own people. While I lived, Forgive me, mother, if you're watching me, forgive me. I failed you. I'm a murderer. I, I, I shall find Miriam. Yes. I, I, I shall find Miriam one day. I shall find Miriam and I shall return home. Where I truly, truly belong. Goodbye, dear brother. Goodbye, Ramesses. Let them be first whose hands have drawn the water. Let's go.
Here you go. Thank you. <coughs> Wake up! Are you all right? What happened? What do we do now? Wake up! What are you girls doing? We're trying to help him get up. He saved us from the men trying to steal our water. Go bring some water. Let's take him to father. The poor man looks weak and feeble. He needs food. Where are we going? Parukatha Yahweh Elohenu Milek Haolam Hamudzi Lehemin Haharez Bishem Yeshua Hamashiach <laughs> How is it that you have come so soon today? An Egyptian delivered us from the hands of the shepherds and he even drew enough water for us. An Egyptian you say? And where is he? Call him that he may eat bread. Come in. Ah, welcome. You well, are most welcome. You should not be a stranger in this land. You have been sent as a blessing. And tonight, you shall be my honored guest. But please, sit down. Not yet! Sorry. My children, let us give thanks for this bountiful food. And let us also give thanks for the presence of this brave young man whom we honor here tonight. Please, sir. <coughs> I wish you wouldn't. I have done nothing in my life worth honoring. You defend my younger daughters from brigands? You think that is nothing? It seems you do not know what is worthy of honor. Come, let us celebrate. Though its color brightly shines You never see its purpose In the pattern of the grand design And the stone that sits on the very top Of a mountain's mighty face Doesn't think it's more important Than the stones that form the base So how can you see what your life is worth Or where your value lies You can never see through the eyes of man Look at your life, look at your life through heaven's
25 years now Moses lived in the desert working for Jethro and leading a simple life still oblivious of his true purpose on earth meanwhile in Egypt the children of Israel still groaned because of their suffering Satai the Pharaoh died and Ramesses was appointed king the Egyptian empire grew even bigger and stronger than before and Ramesses willingly carried forward Satai's vision of Egypt with all his force Moses 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 Here I am Take the sandals off your feet Moses The place on which you stand is holy ground Who are you I am that I am I I don't understand I am the god of your ancestors Abraham Isaac and Jacob What do you want with me I have seen the oppression of my people in Egypt I have heard their cries and I know their sorrow So I have come to deliver them out of slavery and bondage and bring them to a good land a land flowing with milk and honey and so unto pharaoh i shall send you me but who am i to lead these people they won't believe me they won't even listen i shall teach you what to say but, 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 but i was their enemy i was the prince of egypt the son of a king who slaughtered their children no not me no you've chosen the wrong messenger i will certainly be with you indeed but when they say to me what is his name what shall i say i am who i am this is my name forever go and say to them the lord god of your fathers appeared to me saying surely i have visited you and seen what is done to you in egypt and i will bring you out of slavery no. but, but suppose they don't believe me Please. go moses i shall go with you when you go to the king of egypt but pharaoh will not listen so i will stretch out my hand and smite egypt take the staff in your hand moses and with it you shall do my wonders i shall be with you in this journey but, but, but what if they try to kill me please They won't listen to me. Oh. 
Who are you? Show yourself to me. Where have you gone? Moses! 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 Your brother. Aaron! Aaron, what are you doing here? God has sent me to be your support. God? Yes. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, I don't understand. How did you find me here? God told me that I would find you here. So I followed the trail, saw the signs. And here I am. Then Moses and Aaron went to gather together all the elders of the children of Israel. And Aaron spoke the words which the Lord had spoken to Moses. Then he did the signs in the sight of the people so that the people believed him. They bowed their heads and worshipped him. Afterwards, Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh. Ramesses. It's Moses. It's Moses. It's Moses. It's Moses. Moses. <laughs> Ramesses. <laughs> well, look at you, Pharaoh. Well, look at you. Why are you dressed in this manner, <laughs> Ramesses? <laughs> It's been I, so long. I, I thought you were dead. Where were you? Uh, Reminder. I was in the desert. Desert? What were you doing in the desert? You know what I did, Ramses. I had to get away. You didn't have to, Moses. Excuse me, Pharaoh. We are compelled to remind you that this man committed a serious crime against the gods and we are loath to bring it up and the punishment for such a crime is death be still pharaoh speaks it shall be as i say i pardon forever all crimes of which he stands accused and we'll have it known that he is our brother, Moses, the Prince of Egypt. Ramesses. Ramesses, in my heart, you are my brother. But things cannot be as they were. I see no reason why not. You know that I am a Hebrew. Hebrew, pay attention to what you say. And the God of the Hebrews came to me and he commands that you let his people go. Commands? Nobody commands me. I am Pharaoh, the most powerful. And who is this God you speak of? Behold, the power of God. Ha! <laughs> 
Hotep, hoy. Give this snake charmer our answer. Right, Moses, what's this really about? Ramesses, look! What do you see? A greater Egypt than that of my father. That is not what I see. Moses, I cannot change what you see. I bear the weight of my father's crown. Do you still not understand what Satai was? He was a great leader. His hands bore the blood of thousands of children. Slaves. My people. And I can no longer hide in the desert while they suffer. At your hands. So you have returned. Only to free them. I'm sorry, Ramses. Yes, I had hoped, but I do not know this God, and neither will I let your people go. Ramses, please. Who is the law that I should obey his voice to let the Israelites go? You shall no longer give straw to the people to make bricks as before. Do not decrease the quota of bricks to be made. For they cry to their Lord. I will not be the weak link. Tell your people as of today that their workload has been doubled. Thanks to your God. Or is it thanks to you? Leave us alone now. The king of Egypt was very proud and stubborn. God knew that the Pharaoh would never let the Israelites go easily. And so the plagues struck all of Egypt. There were ten of them. First, the river Nile changed to blood and all the fish died. Then, frogs and flies pestered the Egyptians. But the king remained unmoved. All the livestock died and the Egyptians were covered from head to toe with painful boils. But the king did not yield. After this, 
a disastrous hailstorm followed by millions of locusts destroyed all the crops thick darkness covered egypt for 3 days but pharaoh was still adamant Ramesses Ramesses Oh let me guess you want me to let your people go Ramesses please we must bring this to an end because no kingdom was ever made on the backs of slaves Ramesses your stubbornness is causing this misery upon Egypt and we don't need seas if you let my people go I will not be dictated to I will not be threatened. I am Pharaoh. I am the morning and the evening star. I am your God. Bow before me and obey me. Ramesses, please. No. I will never let your people go. your people 
have my permission to go. Ramesses? Leave before I change my mind! Let us go! We're free! Ramesses has set us free! He never said that! Moses? What happened? Why do you look so unhappy? Moses? Please tell me what happened. Moses! The final plague has hit Egypt. And Ramesses' son is dead. <laughs> it's okay, Moses. It's not your fault. It's okay, Moses. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's okay. It's okay, Moses. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Many nights we've prayed. In our hearts. 
Egyptians, they're coming. Army, <gasps> forward, march! Everyone, get behind! Get behind! Ramesses! Why? Did you actually think that I would let your people go? <laughs> they belong to me. Oh. They are my slaves. <gasps> oh. Ramesses. Have we been brought here to die this way? Where shall we go to save our lives? <laughs> what? What? What are we going to do? God, the Egyptians stay here, Lord. You said you would deliver us. Save us from the Egyptians, Lord. Deliver us. With this staff, you shall do my wonders. <coughs> God will be your salvation. Now, witness the power of God! That, ladies and gentlemen, was Clarence High School presenting The Chosen One. And now for the curtain call. Can we have a huge round of applause for our melodious choir? Can we give it up for our amazing and talented dancers, the plague dancers, the magic dancers and through heaven's eyes. Next up before you are the Egyptian magicians, the counsellors and the slave drivers. I give to you the Hebrew boys and the Hebrew girls. Next up are Pharaoh's daughter's assistants, Pharaoh's daughter, baby Ramesses and the river Nile. We give to you Yochebed, Moses' mother, with her two little babies, our cute baby Miriam and baby Aaron. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Jethro, Jethro's daughters, the priests and the shepherds. Let's give it up for Aaron, Zephora and Miriam with their junior counterparts. Can we give it up for our backstage team led by Jobin Burgis? A huge round of applause for the voice of the show, our narrator, Nathaniel Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, we also had a B cast that did the shows day before and two shows yesterday. Can we have the second cast on stage please? That is Niranjan, Shauna and Jessica for you.
I give to you our amazing Setai, the Pharaoh and his royal guards. Please put your hands together as we bring up on stage the evil and cruel Ramesses. And now, please give it up for the chosen one himself, Moses, done by John Abraham. I would really like to thank the God Almighty who in his subtle form has really guided this production and led us and make this production possible. I would like to thank the management of Clarence High School for their support and constant prayers. A big thank you to our lovely principal, Dr. Jerry George Matthew, whose vision this entire production was. <laughs> Could we have you up on stage, sir? I would now like to call upon stage Miss Anisha Peter, our director for training the actors. Can we now have the music department led by Ms. Sharon Clarence, Mrs. Sheba Bernard, Mr. Ashok GP and Mr. Jeremy Atta. They have tirelessly all together trained the choir, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, please give it up for our fantastic choreographers, Ms. Damani Garola and Mr. Mithun Prasad. Can we have you up, Damani and Mithun? A round of applause for the art department, the office, the teaching, the housekeeping staff for their hands-on help. A big thank you to Mrs. Sangeeta Bhandari for the wonderful costumes and makeup. I would like to thank Sanjay Bhaga and the Odyssey Productions team. We have Kapil on the LED, Kaushik on the sound and Samir on the lights. And now I would like to call upon stage our show coordinator who has been the backbone of this production and supported this production from the very beginning. I would like to call upon stage Mrs. Ruth Manoj. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our producer, Mr. Divesh Bandari. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, feel free to join along and sing along as the cast and crew of The Chosen One sings the final reprise of There Can Be Miracles. Come on, choir. Audience, there are food trucks outside and our art department has put up a Christmas art and craft stall. Feel free to visit them on your way out. Thank you.
Fine. 